And all right, LDBC, this is your boy to coach you live, live, live on the coach show, the coach show live. Okay, folks, check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all, you know, my honest opinion and assessment of this fight. Okay, I watched the fight three times. I watched this fight three times, and you know, now I'm ready to actually produce this video. You know, I'm a fan of, of both Devin Haney and Silva Lomachenko. I, I like both the fighters. To be honest, I was a fan of Vasil first because before I even knew who Devin Haney was, um, I was already a fan of Vasil. I had been a fan of Vasil five years prior before Devin Haney was even, you know, remotely ready to fight. Um, but when I figured out who Devin Haney was, I saw that Devin Haney was a consummate, a consummate just, you know, like a person who was just, you know, like really, really deep into the sweet science. Like Devin Haney embodies the sweet science of what we call boxing. And I started to gravitate toward him and, you know, I gravitated towards Bill Haney because Bill Haney is the type of father that any any young black male would want to have. Like he's the type of father that any young black man would want to have because, you know, people say that black men are not in their fathers in their kids' lives, but you know, Bill Haney is, is, is there. Now the fact, a little fun fact about Bill Haney. Um, you know, he spends a lot of time with Devin, but he's got a daughter that's like this great tennis player that, you know, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to become the next Richard Williams. So, you know, Bill Haney is a man that I, I, I really respect. I've even had conversation with Bill Haney. I've talked to him before. And, uh, you know, Bill Haney is just, he's the type of dude, man, he just, he'll, Bill will kick it with you. Bill Haney will kick it with you. He don't care. He'll kick it with you no matter what. And, uh, you know, I, I respect Bill Haney. I respect the hell out of him. So I watched this fight. And I saw the fight three times. The first time I saw the fight, I had Vasil Lomachenko winning the fight 7-5. to five. Now, here's the thing. People are saying that Vasil Lomachenko, they're saying he got robbed. I never understand why people say that a close fight. This fight was hella close. It was close. I mean, the damn fight was close. So I don't understand how. How do you say a man is robbed if the fight is close? And you have every single sports pundit, every single, like a lot of people, even professionals, they're saying that the fight is was very, very close. The fight was extremely close. And if you're telling me that you thought Devin Haney won, I'm not going to argue with you. Because the fight was that damn close. I watched the fight two more times and I had it a draw. Okay, the first time I legit, I had Vasil Lomachenko winning the fight. I just thought Vasil, I felt like the championship round, I thought, now my opinion, okay, not your opinion, my opinion, I felt that Vasil Lomachenko won the championship round, in my opinion. I felt like Devin Haney won most of the middle rounds. Um, and I felt like some of those rounds in the beginning were swing, were swing rounds, they could have went either way. And so when I watched the fight the second and third time, I swung the rounds in Devin Haney's favor, the ones that I thought were swing rounds, and I had it a draw. I just thought, I just thought Vasil, I thought he landed more, and I thought he was landing a lot of significant strikes. Um, he landed like some really, really nice uppercuts on Devin Haney, and he wobbled, he didn't stagger Devin Haney, he wobbled him um, a couple times during the fight, from my perception, okay? Um, Devin Haney had a very good, you know, body attack. He sustained a body attack, and Vasil Lomachenko did not like those body shots. The body shots were masterful because Vasil came in and he was trying to take all these angles on Devin Haney. And Devin Haney had abused the body of Vasil Lomachenko so badly that Vasil was having a hard time moving. He was having a hard time doing the things that he was doing. That, you know, he kept trying to get away with. Toward the end of the fight, Vasil Lomachenko had to you know, go mano a mano. I felt like Vasil was the smaller guy. I felt like Devin much bigger than Vasil. Um, but I felt like Vasil at times was taking a fight to Devin Haney. Well, I felt like Devin Haney sometimes was doing a little bit too much backing up. That's just my opinion. Uh, Devin Haney did a good job of setting traps for Vasil Lomachenko. Letting Vasil walk in the stuff. Um, I felt like Devin though in the, in the later rounds started going away from the body and started trying to hit him. Um, because I felt like he was trying to, you know, get the knockout on Vasil Lomachenko. Um, that, that, that's what I thought. I felt like he was trying to knock him out instead of just continuing to break this guy down to the body because it was effective. 
I just I thought I, I just thought Pacino was just he was doing a little bit more. He was a little bit more active than than Devin Haney, and that's 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 my view. And I legit felt like the steel Lomachenko won round 10, 11, and 12. Okay? You can get mad. Okay, don't come on here saying, oh, man, you know, you sitting here, man, you capping, you cooning. Uh, look, man, don't nobody want to hear that. It's a boxing fight. I'm giving my opinion, okay? I'm giving what I thought happened. When it comes down to what it is and what I see, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not, and, and, I'm, and I, I don't dislike the steel Lomachenko. You know, here's the thing, man. I don't understand why so many people disrespect this dude. And to be honest, Vasil Lomachenko, he got a hell of a resume. Because people kept saying, well, you know, you're not going to fight Nicholas Walters. Y'all remember the Axe Man, Nicholas Walters? Goes in, dominates, made, made Nicholas Walters quit. And now people saying, well, you know, Nicholas Walters, you know, he ain't fought in three years. He ain't fought in three years. So that's the reason why he beat him so badly. Well, wait a minute. He was supposed to be, he's supposed to be afraid of the guy. He was supposed to not want to fight him. He fought him. Then, you know, you had Guillermo Rigondeaux. So I called him out for Seal and Chico. The Seal was like, well, he's a little too small. You know, he's really too small for me. And, uh, you know, I don't know if the fight really makes any sense. Guillermo Rigondeaux continues to call out for Seal and Chico. The Seal fights him. Okay? Goes in, makes Rigondeaux quit. Oh, well, you know, Rigo was too small. Rigo was too small. Okay? Tried to negotiate another fight with Orlando Salido. Orlando Salido priced himself out, wanted $10 million to fight Vasil Lomachenko, okay? Orlando Salido priced himself out, didn't want to didn't take the rematch, okay? Then, you know, oh, well, he ain't going to fight Teofimo Lopez. Fights Teofimo Lopez, he loses, okay? Oh, well, he ain't going to fight Teo, fought Teo, and he lost. No harm, no foul in that. Now he's taking on another young champion in Devin Haney. Come on, man. Come on. This guy's fighting tough competition. I, I, I don't understand. He fought Linares. Tough competition. I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, he's a fighter. I feel like Vasil, I feel like he'll fight damn near anybody if the price is right. But isn't that all fighters? I don't, I, me, I don't have an issue with Vasil Lomachenko. I, I don't, I mean, I like him as a fighter. I mean, I, I think he can fight, you know? He's a good fighter. Man got hella fight angles. He's fast. And that's another thing. I think I thought Basile owned the speed advantage over Devin Haney. I thought Devin Haney had better timing. I thought Devin Haney was a little bit more precise. But I just overall I felt Basile Lomachenko had him in the speed department. Okay? Taking angles. He was catching Devin Haney. Catching Devin Haney with up. And it's like Basile landed an uppercut a couple of times. So, I mean, I don't know. I just I felt like Vasil Lomachenko did more in the fight to win the fight. I felt like he let his hands go. At points of the fight, when I was doing a live stream, I just felt like Devin Haney wouldn't let his hands go. I just it, I don't know. He was almost, like, scared of getting countered. Like, he would not let his hands go. Okay, then, you know, toward the championship rounds, he, he kind of went away from the body, which I thought that was damn highly. It was highly damn effective. Like in this photo here, he's going to the body. He landed some beautiful body shots. I just, me, my opinion, okay? I felt like Basile did more in the later rounds, and that's what kind of swung it for me. Okay? Now, you know, some people had Devin Haney winning. But I thought 116 to 112, I thought it was a bit much, man. Me, I thought. I, just, I thought it was a bit much. I thought the fight was close enough. 115 to 113, to me, was probably doable. But this, this is not a robbery. Vasil Lomachenko did not, he didn't get robbed, y'all. It was a close fight. You don't have a robbery in a close fight. Why the fuck you guys don't get that shit? Why the fuck don't you get it? That there isn't a robbery when the fight is that damn close. Oh, they, oh, they robbed him on the cards. How? How did they rob him on the cards? It was a close fight. Many pundits and boxing analysts they said that this fight was extremely close and it could have went either way. And I agree with that. I concur with that assessment. The fight could have went any it could have went any way. I felt Devin was getting caught with a couple of things. And I figure and, and I feel like Devin just is no longer effective at this weight class anymore. I mean legit, you know, he was getting hurt. He was getting stunned in there. Well not stunned, but he was getting wobbled. And I just didn't see Vasile as a power puncher, but Devin don't need to fight at 135 anymore. 
I mean, I don't have a problem with Devin Haney winning, and I wouldn't have had a problem with Vasil winning. I, I don't have a problem with either of the two winning because the fight was that damn close. And it's like people sitting here whining and crying, and you just got to see a damn fight. Didn't you, didn't you motherfuckers say y'all want to see the best fight the best? Ain't that what you want to see? Now the best fight's the best, and, and, and nobody can accept the damn decision that was rendered. Oh, Devin Haney really got a loss. No, he don't got a loss because he won. Devin Haney don't have a loss on his record. Devin Haney is undefeated. I don't care what you thought happened. The records show that he's undefeated. Whether you like it or not, he's undefeated. Whether you wanted Vasil to win or not, he's undefeated. Whether you like Vasil Lomachenko or not, he's undefeated. The judges saw it to me. And you can say, man, well, judges are corrupt all the time and blah, blah, blah. In a fight this close, the fight was close. The fight was close. And I don't have a problem with the decision. If you're telling me you thought Vasil won, I'm not arguing with you. If you told me you thought Devin won, I'm not arguing with you. In my opinion, I thought Vasil won. I thought he won, but, you know, I wasn't shocked that Haney won. I, I wasn't surprised that Devin Haney won. I wasn't shocked. Because in my mind, I said, well, this fight can go either way. Fight can go either way. But now here's the thing. What is Vasil going to do? Because, you know, noticeably he slowed down. And what is Devin Haney going to do? Man, look, the guy was weight drained. There's no way that this guy can continue to fight at 135 pounds. Devin Haney got to move up. He got to move up. He got to move up because these weight cuts are starting to really, they're starting to get to him. And these weight cuts, they're going to cost him this damn fight. They're going to cost him a victory. And Shakur Stevenson steps in the ring. I kind of like that. I wish Devin Haney would have tried to sell that a little bit more. But I think that fight, though, don't need to be sold. I think it's already something that people want to see. So congrats to Devin Haney, okay? Congrats to Vasil Lomachenko. This is a good fight, man. Like, you know, and for some reason, why do people think that Devin Haney was about to come in there and just walk through Vasil Lomachenko? Vasil can fight. I don't care if you don't like the guy. The damn dude can fight. <laughs> he can fight his ass off, okay? You got in there with two people that know how to fight. What y'all crying about? Shut the hell up and enjoy the damn fight.